Lock, um, great time to be in the cattle industry, mate. It is, Ben. At last it's, at last it's our turn. How are you cattle performing in the feedlot? Well, we've had some really good, uh, our clients have had some really good results. I know one client in particular uh, feeds cattle at Kalara and they have been the, uh, the highest grading and the highest dirty weight gain cattle that they've, they've had there. So they're just wrapped in that. And the same client actually uh, feeds a lot of cattle in Rangers Valley and, and he said, I know he said, in one intake he had, he had six days of marbled eight score at, at Rangers, so... That's for straight angus. That's right, straight angus. And we just keep tinkering with the genetics and keep... But they're the sort of programs that we tailor our genetics towards. And that's good and now the Angus Society has got the cohort program which is a fantastic way of, as you know, vindicating your cattle and figures. I, I think the benchmarking program is the outstanding thing that the Angus Society are doing for us at the moment. It's the real deal. You know, we can go so far with breed plan and, uh, and which is a fantastic tool. But uh, the cohort program, when, when those animals are ultimately slaughtered, that's the that's that's the real deal then, and it's and it's not always as you'd expect. It's you know sometimes the high IMF EBV bulls don't cop it to some other bulls that actually carcass marvel a fair bit higher. And we have got E Triple One who was right back in the second cohort, and he ended up uh, coming second to the MSA indexing and second with the actual carcass marveling. So we with him and we've got our lot three balls a grandson of his by H253 and in the fourth cohort we've got G188 who I think you know his numbers have just got better and better he's 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 the number one ball for uh, 400 600 and EMA in that cohort and and he's a carving ease, he's 2.5 for birth and 137 for growth. That's fantastic. And we've never touched a calf yeah. by him, or we've never pulled a calf out of his daughters. So he's the real deal, and, and, and he's, he's, he's one of the sort of bulls that you wouldn't have really known about, but he's really coming up in the, bench, in the benchmarking program. And so, look, well, just getting onto the bulls that we've been looking at today, uh, tell us a bit about the bulls on offer this year. Well, in the in the two-year-olds, they're, they're, they're some really good ones by our own size, by uh, by H253 and and by H179, who was just a heifer bull that a bull that we used to back up with, and he's got he's a seven, a seven one son is a seven grading son. We've got some some really good Docklands that are really stout with a ton of capacity and, and have been selling well everywhere. And we have used several of those. We've got, uh, we've got conversions and, uh, and we've, one of which topped our sale last year, a conversion. We've got, we've got straight from Franklin's, TC Franklin's, as well as the Franklin Sons. We've got uh, Boromoka Frankel, who's, <laughs> He's a very high growth bull with outstanding NFI. He's, he has fallen over for DD, but we've got, you know, the clean sons are terrific. In, in, in the yearlings coming through, we've got 30. You know, we've really brought 30 yearlings through that we're really pretty excited about. They're sort of, they're, they're a fantastic set of bulls on paper. And, you know, they're, they're by uh, Sijin Black Pearl, who's a trust son. Werner Westwood, who's a uh, not a Pete Destin son, uh, but they're really pretty exciting bulls. They they're pretty raw. Our season hasn't been great, but they'll be they'll really make the grade. And we're going to uh, I think it's going to be a real highlight of the sale. Those 30 yearling bulls. It enables people to step into the newer genetics too, doesn't it? Oh, it, it does. It does. And most of the yearlings are carving ease. So they're good heifer bulls, but they're they're both they're cow bulls, and they are they're the they're the latest whiz bang genetics in the catalogue actually at the moment. And and Locke, are there any standout um, 
size that people should consider? I, I reckon lot 3, K101 and uh, K329, both by homebred bulls, I reckon they're I reckon they're really worth keeping an eye on. Well yeah. look, um, best of luck for the sale this year and I hope it rains soon. Good on you Benny, so do I. So come and join us on uh, August the 3rd. Will do. Thanks Ben. Thank you.